Drop 3 is out and there's so much to cover. So far I feel like I'm super hyped for this one. Let's get right into it. Drop 3 starts off outrunning the cops and it gives us a lot to talk about the new pursuit mechanics that persist in the game. We got our first proper look at different cop cars at different heat levels, starting it off with level 1 cops. These are the basic cops that will be initiating the pursuit, slowly moving on to level 2 cops, which will be almost similar to level 1 cops but blacked out. Similar to Most Wanted and we'll get to see a lot more similarities with Most Wanted in a bit. Moving on to heavier units, which are the SWAT teams in this case. They're gonna be the one blocking off the roads and replacing the rhinos as far as we can tell. Alright. The helicopters were confirmed and that's the logo for it. And finally there's this strange incognito type icon, which we are speculating to be when an unknown vehicle is chasing you and you don't know what exactly that vehicle is, that logo pops up and as soon as you get a glimpse, it changes into the icon of the cop that's chasing you. Speaking of getting chased, backup timers back and it works exactly like most wanted. If you take out just the right amount of cops, there will be a timer along with a bar insinuating that backups on the way. Speaking of taking out cops, we also got to see a cop takedown animation. That's not it. When you ram a cop or get hit by it, the icons on the bottom flashes red, indicating that you're getting hit or damaging that certain cop. And it's pretty neat how well it functions. We cannot end talking about cops without involving the phrase high risk, high reward. So hey, at the top right of the screen, we can see how much money is exactly at stake. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything about spotting, which was mentioned on the last video. I highly recommend checking it out since it covers every little detail about drop 2. And that wraps up the new pursuit mechanics. Like always, we'll start with the obvious ones and move on to the ones which y'all missed. Starting it off with character previews. We got a lot more clips showing off the new characters and their customization. And honestly speaking, it's better than last time. Need for Speed tried implementing real characters a few times and most of them turned out pretty cringy or just bad. So they're switching it up with this style and I'm down for it. We also got a picture up on the website, which we didn't get to see in the trailer. So that's that. Oh, and what the actual fuck did I I just witness. Looking at this, we can clearly tell they're going wild with the new customization. Right, moving on to the interiors. No, don't get excited. We still don't have cockpit view. But as we can see, the Crown Vic and cop cars have proper interior lighting, which tells me that they did put a lot of effort into making the interiors look better. And hopefully, now that we have roll cages and everything, I hope there's interior customization. Moving on to the flashy stuff. We got to see the nitrous trails along with a bit of normal smoke for the very first time. And lastly, we got to spot Aesop Cocky. Oops. Rocky on this race, which might be the big race that we all know from the trailer, but we'll have to figure that out soon enough. And oh dear god, my guy just escaped death right here. First things first, now there will be multiple routes to take during a race. The betting system got revealed along with how the reward system will work. There is a new weekly calendar with day and night events and we got a preview of the qualifiers at the bottom right. That's how we'll be able to unlock vanities along with winning new cars like the Defender, Crown Vic and the GTR for these three qualifiers. And there was also one extra screenshot, which was on the website but not on the trailer. Anyways, qualifiers will probably work like the summit in the Crew 2 where we'll have to buy cars for that event and get rewarded for completing that qualifier. We also got to see the challenge section on the top left of the screen, which tells me we'll have something pretty similar to Need for Speed Heat. Also, we can finally take a look-see at all the tier levels for our car. So there will be four tiers, A, A+, S, and S+. Starting from the bottom, we'll be making our way to S+. And that's always been the best part of Need for Speed. Let's talk about the highlight of the trailer, the Crown Victoria, which was modified to its core. It had everything and the whole nine yards. But did you see that headlight? Goodness gracious, it looks insane. And I love every bit of it. All right, moving on to something that you didn't notice. Yeah, the Mustang might have been modified too. But if we take a look, see at the fog lights, they are surprisingly blue. And that's something new. Maybe it's a one-off thing like the RTR grill lights, or it could be a deeper level of 
customization. Personally, I would be guessed if it was the later. Also, colored license plate on the Mustang. It was never a thing before, so colored license plate is a thing now? Lastly, there wasn't anything special done to the Lotus besides a new side mirror, I think? But hey, that's about it when it comes down to the new customization. That's pretty much everything we had to cover this week. Once again, I'll be covering all the drops as soon as they're out and it will be short and sweet. Also, if you have any speculations of your own, feel free to add them in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for instant updates and that's gonna be pretty much it for me. It's been your boy Gazi and I'll see you guys on the next one.